Dew point and humidity. About 71% surface of the earth is covered with water. Due to constant evaporation of water, water vapor is always present in the atmosphere. The amount of water vapor in the atmosphere helps us to understand the state of daily weather. The presence of water vapor in the air makes it moist. The moisture in the atmosphere is called humidity. For a given volume of air, at a specific temperature, there is a limit on how much water vapor the air can contain. If the amount exceeds this limit, the excess vapor converts into water droplets. When the air contains maximum possible water vapor, it is said to be saturated with vapor at that temperature. The amount of vapor needed to saturate the air depends on temperature of the air. If air temperature is low, it will need less vapor to saturate the air. For example, if temperature of air is 40 degrees Celsius, it can contain 49 grams of water vapor per kilogram of dry air without condensation. If the amount of vapor exceeds this limit, the additional vapor will condense. However, if the temperature of air is 20 degrees Celsius, it can contain only 14.7 grams of water vapor per kilogram of dry air without condensing. If the vapor contained in air is less than that of the maximum limit, then the air is said to be unsaturated. Suppose unsaturated air at a certain temperature is taken and its temperature is decreased, a temperature is reached at which the air becomes saturated with vapor. This temperature is called the dew point temperature. The vapor content in the air is measured using a physical quantity called absolute humidity. The mass of vapor present in a unit volume of air is called absolute humidity. Generally, absolute humidity is measured in kilogram per meter cube. The feeling of humid or dry nature of air not only depends on the amount of vapor in the air, but it also depends on how close that amount is for making the air saturated with vapor. It means that it depends on temperature of the air also. The ratio of actual mass of vapor content in the air for a given volume and temperature to that required to make the air saturated with vapor at that temperature is called the relative humidity. The relative humidity at the dew point is 100%. If the relative humidity is more than 60%, we feel that the air is humid. If the relative humidity is less than 60%, we feel that the air is dry. During winter season, you may have observed a white trail at the back of a flying plane in a clear sky. As the plane flies, the vapor released by the aeroplane engine condenses and forms clouds. If the surrounding air is having more relative humidity, it takes a long time for the white trail formed by condensation of the vapor to disappear. If relative humidity of the surrounding air is less, either the size of the white trail may be small or it may not even get formed.